They call it ironwood, but unlike iron, this doesn't rust. This tree behind me, the Colophosperma mopani, which is submerged here in the waters of Lake Kariba. Kariba is a man-made lake and it was flooded in 1958. This is 2018, 60 years later, and that tree is still standing. It is rock solid, the timber of this tree. A remarkable, remarkable timber, completely resilient to termites, to rust, obviously, and to water, as you can see. These trees will, they feel that when you touch them and push them, they feel like they're gonna be there another 60 years. They're perfectly solid. Now, really interestingly, although this is a totally artificial habitat, these trees in their new guise, as partially submerged in a lake, have provided habitat to a number of different species, including, as you can see, up on the top left there, that nest is the fish eagle. It's actually the national bird of Zimbabwe, and in these waters, it's found uh, everywhere. And it lives up there, and from its perch, it looks down on the fish below, and when it sees one, it goes in, boom, and gets it. To the right there, you can see on the tree, that's an egret. Uh, standing there somewhat majestically by himself looking out also of course a fishing bird so this is just some examples of what this mopani tree does and how it's adapted to its new environment here in man-made Lake Kariba Zimbabwe thank you for watching that guys uh, if we haven't met before my name's Gus the African plant hunter and my mission in life is to bring African plants to life for uh, people that don't know so much about them. Um, I'm born and raised in Africa and I've been studying African plants for my whole life. So I know a little bit and would love to share that with you. So if you want to see more like this, uh, you can always find me on my YouTube channel, uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, wherever you go for your social media. Um, I am the African Plant Hunter. Thanks for watching and I will catch you later.